guys welcome to my channel my name is Christine thank you so much for tuning in today so today we are going to talk about how we should decorate our bed sitters so I have done a few like two videos before about the, the bed sitter one is about the layout how you should set up your bed sitter and then the other one is I've tackled all the basics so if you don't or if you've not done the basics and the basics I mean the bed all the furnitures and all that then you should go check that video I'll also put it up here but other than that if you feel like your bed sitter is like flat or boring then continue watching this video so before even you know how to decorate or I tell you how to decorate and items you need for your decoration then you need to know the specific uh, design style that you're using or you or you will implement in your own home and also with that choose your color scheme putting down the basics i hope there are neutral colors that can go with different decors so choose your color scheme and when you're decorating that you can decorate with different colors from your basics to just maybe bring in the color if you want that or you can still use the neutral colors if you want that it will be so easy for you if you choose the color first before you go to patch head. What is a decoration without getting the deco pieces? So when you want to decorate or when you want to know how to decorate, you need the deco pieces first. And I will talk about different deco pieces and how you should decorate with them in your bed sitter. So don't worry if your bed sitter is small or big, it should be beautiful and that's what we want it to be so that when you come back at all it will be coming and beautiful and nice for you and also for you to feel like you've put your touch in it is not like the same seats that everyone has in their bed sitters or the same beds when you put your touch with different decors then it becomes more of your style and your taste so let's jump right in I hope that was not too much so the first deco piece which is important for you even if you're living in a very small space is plants I've done a plants video uh, but I'll just say plants are very good because you're bringing nature in that means they just bring a calming feel to your room an example when you go to a place that has a lot of trees it it's very calming it's very nice so when you bring that to your home or to your bed sitter that will elevate it will make it look beautiful and that's one thing that you can decorate with you can choose a big plant and maybe one or two small plants don't overdo it because you don't want it to look like a jungle do bit by bit and also consider if your bed sitter gets light because if it doesn't get light then you need maybe artificial plants like the one behind me is an artificial plant so you can get one like that or you can just go and buy life plants if you if this sunlight doesn't have to be direct sunlight but if you if you can get a little bit of light then you can use the other like normal plants so where you decorate is important because you just don't throw it anywhere I would say like a tall tree you can put it in a corner or near the TV stand if you have that in your bed sitter if you have the small small plants then you can place them on a coffee table on a stack of books on a bedside table just any surface that can be decorated you can put that it can be on your kitchen like if you have like a table where you maybe prep your food you can put a plant there and that will elevate the space so the next one is use the vertical space this is important because most of the bed sitters are very are not very big they're not spacious so I would say decorate with maybe shelves that may be attached on the wall or just standing shelves i would say shelves that are attached on the wall they don't occupy any space on the ground so that can be 
may be effective for you and you can use your own things to style those shelves maybe you can use your cute shoes or your handbags or any other thing even your souvenirs you can use those and also those shelves can be used for storage you can use like cute baskets to decorate the shelves and that is right on decoration and i hope that's a tip that you can implement if you don't have a lot of storage you can get shelves put near your kitchen area and just stock up your cups put your chopping bowls then throw a plant there or anything that can make it look beautiful the other thing using your vertical space you can use uh, nice hooks there are hooks that these days there are many types there are wooden hooks that I've seen that they look so beautiful. You can put them on the wall and or and maybe hang your bags, keys, or anything that you need to hang. You can do that. Those hooks are so cute. I'll just show you up here. And also, you can use your hats if you love hats or anything. You can use you can you can hang your bag. But I like when people put their hats there. They look so beautiful. I hope you will try that rather than squeezing your hats with your clothes and they get smashed you can hang your hats on the on the walls and maybe that's a pop of color if you have maybe a yellow a red hat a black a brown hat that can maybe look nice depending with the color choices you're going with i hope that really helped i hope you check on that and you use hooks and actually if you fear maybe putting hooks on the wall those ones that need to be screwed in don't worry if you put that on the wall you can patch that hole with a sparkle and then you paint over it so the next point is paint 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 i will keep talking about paint because when we rent these houses they put like a, a yellowish paint on the wall because they don't I think they think it's easier for you to it doesn't get dirty or if it gets it if it gets dirty it doesn't show so I think that's why they use the yellow paints but if you don't if that doesn't go with the style you're going with if you don't like that then you can totally change that and that is decor you can do an accent wall and just um, make it beautiful and maybe paint the other walls a different color you can go with a moody feel you can go with the airy feel white is good for that it will make the space more more bigger it will make it bigger and better i would shy from different types of paint because they are the paints that are so textured that when you get out you're not able to get them off the wall and leave it smooth i would go with different colors still talking about the walls you can use a wallpaper that can really change how your bed sitter looks put a wallpaper with maybe colors or maybe one color or maybe a textured one if you do that it will really elevate actually you can put it on one wall to just accent the room and make it beautiful and that wall should be the focal point when you enter the wall that you see is the focal point or the wall that you want to make the focal point is where you should put the wallpaper or you can just go with a textured neutral wallpaper that you can put in the whole bed sitter because bed sitters are not big you can do that and it can just look beautiful because people will touch thinking it's paint but it's wallpaper and that can look good so i would say don't shy off just make it beautiful make it yours so still talking about the walls let's talk about the wall art i would say please please don't leave your walls uh, blank or don't feel the need of getting the teeny tiny a4 photo frames and just putting your photo all by the way this is another thing that landlords do they put like a picture rail on the wall somewhere that they need you to just put hang your your like your your pictures there or hang any art that you need i would say no you don't have to scrape off the railing you can just hang your photos wherever you, below it above it just maybe you can use a double-sided tape to put your photos because i find they put them very high and now the, the the photos or the frames if they are very small they feel like they are hanging on on, on a line 
and it doesn't look good i would say get big big wall art don't go small please go big it will make the room look bigger when you when you buy small tiny things they make the room look smaller you can also go with a gallery wall you can get photos family photos or you can get any nature photos any photos that really like inspire you or maybe a place you want to go or a place that you've been you can put those photos there and you don't even have to put photos alone there are people who put baskets like the nice um bowls woven bowls they put them on the wall they look so good so still depending on your style if you're going with this bohemian style then you can use the um, macrame is it called the macrame you can use the macrame you can use the woven like bow basket on the walls and that can make your room look beautiful it doesn't matter where you are i always say that make that place beautiful make it memorable for you make it beautiful side in such a way that you would always feel at home when you enter in that bed sitter you always feel at home just put your personal touch and you will love it so if you want to be more fancy and you like that style put a divider i'm not saying a curtain or a sheet they are cute dividers right now and one of them that is more efficient is a bookshelf a big like a long bookshelf you can put across your bed then you can you can put you can store your plants you can store your your books your extra books you can put baskets and that's a divider but it's working as a storage a beautiful place where you can decorate your vases any deco piece you can use it to decorate that divider shelf so I hope you do that and there are other dividers that are glass with the black railings and they look so nice that one is not more of privacy i think it's for decor and it looks so good of course it's dividing the room you see uh, that's a sleeping area and this is where as a visitor i need to be but i would say it's not like for privacy when you want to change your clothes then it's not for privacy but it really divides the place and when people come to your place they feel like now they need to sit on the couch not to go and sit on the bed anyway so let's talk about the basics that how to decorate the basics that we already have so of course we have the bed and don't leave it flat like with only maybe one one pillow that you used to sleep with you can use your bed pillows then align euro shams and then you use decorative pillows and also throw a throw blanket at the end of the bed that will cozy it up it will feel it will look so nice and the, the, those small touches those small deco touches really elevate a place also if you have a couch do the same use those throw pillows uh, a throw blanket functional one that someone can cover themselves with if they are watching just do that you can also have like a woven basket with throw pillows and throw blankets there to just maybe if you have a, a visitor they can also have their own blanket to use so i would say get those throw pillows and those throw blankets so if you have uh, enough space or if you have your nightstands then that's the perfect place to decorate on top still leaving place for somewhere you can maybe place a cup or put your book you can display your a bowl with maybe your earrings or your rings you can put a cute bowl you can put a vase with a plant or, a, or flowers you can put beautiful lamps or a, a beautiful lamp there you can also put different things maybe you don't use a lamp you put a candle holder that's a place where you can really decorate and make it beautiful but don't overwhelm the space just use like half of the space like use 50 percent and leave the other 50 percent for you just place your cup or place any other thing that you need i hope this really helped you i hope you go and make your bed sitter a beautiful home for yourself thank you so much i love you bye